Hey yo, what's up dorks? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm accompanied by none other than my dad and we're back at it again reviewing something new, something exciting. It's his uh, Submariner Rolex dog. It's pretty dope. We just recently received it uh, and uh, I'll let my dad take it away how he feels with it. Yes sir. Well, uh, just kind of want to give you a little bit of, um, of an idea. I've been, I've been looking for a Rolex for a couple of years now. Um, actually been saving and trying to trying to make my decision of which Rolex to get um, I was really kind of focused on trying to get the um, the date just um, I actually went to one of the authorized dealers in, in Vegas and, and, and and talked to one of the representatives and and basically I put my name on the list for a blue face um, date just with a Jubilee uh, wristband and and the fluted vessel that I really, really wanted that one. Sounds pricey. But um, yeah, so so I think that one uh, MSRP was around ninety five hundred dollars. Um, Yikes! And and to tell you the truth, I think it's pretty close to impossible to get a uh, Rolex um, if you don't have a history <laughs> with the authorized dealer. So um, I haven't received a phone call yet. So mm -hmm. which it's just kind of what I expected. Uh, in sure. the meantime, I figured, you know what, um, I really, really wanted to get me a, 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 a watch. And then, um, so I started looking around, um, maybe a third vendor or third party vendor. Um, so we came across Bob's watches in Newport Beach and they have hundreds and hundreds of, of, of Rolexes in stock. Um, so we, we, we drove up there and it was actually quite a good experience. Um, uh, they they sat down with us. They showed us some um, different types of Rolexes. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up looking at the Submariner instead. Um, I think that was my second choice. But in reality, it was my second choice because I, I didn't think I could afford the uh, the the Submariner. And 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 ultimately, I think um, uh, when we made the decision to get this one here, um, it, it was actually quite the surprise. So. Um, in other words, um, you know, I, I always say it was my second choice, but in reality, I think it was deep, deep inside. That's what I really wanted it's, the whole time. It's love at first sight, right? That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. So, you saw it up in the shelf and you're like, ooh, wee mama. Yes, sir. So, um, <laughs> you want to, you, you want to do go the honors? Up? Go ahead and do the honors. Let's, uh, let's, um, open it up and, and see what we got. All right. But, uh, first you want to talk about how you arrived at the store and they, uh, they didn't want to see you at first. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> this is because of the pandemic, right? So uh, the, everybody's been really careful and, and trying to be safe. Um, I think it's um, it's it, it's important that everybody stays safe during this time. So they were taking their um, their, their their measures to make sure that everybody, their employees, are are safe. Mm -hmm. uh, they finally decided to open the door for us, and <laughs> and and here we are. So sure. yeah, sir. So, All right. And so let's uh, let's open this bad boy up then. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Sure. Hold on. I think that this will give somebody the idea of exactly what to expect when they're looking for for a Rolex, right? Mm-hmm. So, so I wasn't expecting it in this nice looking box right here. It looks yeah. almost like a rock. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. All right, let's open it up then. Mm -hmm. we'll see what comes inside of it. Yes, sir. Nice. So here comes the top off. Yeah. Right here, we what do we got right here? So those are the papers. So another important thing, um, you know, for some people that may not. Um, I didn't know, right? But I think this is important for people to, if they're interested in getting a Rolex, is it, it makes quite a difference if the Rolex, if it's a used Rolex, um, to make sure that the paper work, the, the papers are with it. Yeah. Um, and, and this is just adds value in case you want to sell it again, you know, after a while. Uh, this things, by the way, they don't lose any value, right? So <laughs> right. it's been proven that the, the value on, on this, uh, watches um it, it's actually um you know it's it's a good investment right so mm -hmm. so um what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's it's, it's um it's the the dealers uh, you go to a, a, a good dealer a reputable your, dealer yes you do your homework mm -hmm. and make sure that they they're um they, they conduct business in a proper way mm -hmm. and and then the other thing you want to make sure is that if you want to sell it later mm -hmm. just make sure you have the paperwork <laughs> And, and, and the, the watch and the box. The box, right? So, so I think that um, takes care of a lot of the concerns people might have. 
and yeah. and it's 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 a little bit more expensive to get it with papers on the box but ultimately i think that if you're making an investment uh, of this magnitude i think mm -hmm. it's it's important yeah to i think do it's it a right. little more important and then plus it's a good sure. investment to do oh, it that yeah. way of course <laughs> that way you don't uh risk losing value or getting into a fight with the pawn shop <laughs> if it comes to worse right. <laughs> and, right. and and by the way um um uh, the uh, uh bob's watches you know it's, it's really mm -hmm. good because they buy and sell all the time mm -hmm. so they um right off the bat they said hey if you ever want to bring it back we'll you know i mean we'll <laughs> give you at least 75 percent of of you know the cost so, so right. basically it's it's always a, something guaranteed right but well, yeah <laughs> but, but it, it they, they keep on going on on in, on value you know they get, it gets more valuable as as, as time goes so. yeah i could imagine especially how hard they get they are to get sure all right let's open this up real quick so there's a box inside a box a right? box inside a box baby this is, this is important too right it's see. got the the red ribbon and mm -hmm. if you can read what it says here um quality swiss mm -hmm. so make them all in switzerland huh yes sir that's there right uh -huh. mm -hmm. all right so it's got that right there it's got the tag as well um it comes with uh, the a cleaning cloth cleaning cloth oh, damn it's got rolex on it look yes, at sir. that <laughs> and this is the tag from Bob's watches, obviously. Right. And this is the original tag as well from the from the actual the manufacturers. Watch. And it's got the serial number, so the serial matching, numbers all the match paperwork. up, right? Exactly. Yep. Look at that. So it's got that, um, and of course here you have the warranty as well. Nice. And then <laughs> you got some other documents in here. Um, How long's the warranty? So, so do this you is know? this is what the uh, so this is what the uh, the papers look like, right? So the certificate of Dang. authentication right so here it is uh, it also comes with different manuals and how to operate the watch and tells you a little bit of the history of, of the mm -hmm. um, of Rolex itself and different types of Rolexes it tells you so you got all these uh, manuals in here instructions and it also talks about uh, it tells you a little bit different the stories about the the history of Rolex uh, the different watches uh, the Submariner uh, information so basically you know uh, on top of its looks, on top mm -hmm. of its um, personality uh, and, and it's everything, likeness. it's still nonetheless, it's still a diver's watch. Mm -hmm. So this is designed for, uh, for diving. Correct. So, <laughs> so I never knew that. So, so this is interesting, right? Because people, you know, some something a timepiece like this, you want to take care of it. You don't and, want to put and it in water. And it's really designed to be underwater mm -hmm. in salt water. That's so, crazy. So there's there's <laughs> some instructions on, on what to do after uh, swimming the. In the in the sea, yeah, you want to rinse it off, and you know mm -hmm. they, they tell you this. Make sure it doesn't get so, corrosion or which anything. Is, which is kind of <laughs> interesting, right? So you would think that something like this, you really wouldn't want to even want to take it to the. I wouldn't even to want to touch water with it. So, <laughs> so it's interesting, right? So ultimately, like I said, it's it's still a diver's watch. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. It still it's, looks nice as heck, though. So let's check it out. Yes, Where's sir. the front end? Oh, here it is. Let me open it up. Dang! Look at that, boys. Let's see if I can see it real quick. We got the Rolex logo. It's a nice wooden box too. You can feel it. It's got the letter outside. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, let's open up the watch. Let's kind of get it in the way. You really can't see it too much. Let me bring it up to the camera. Check it out, boys. Check that out. Don't know if you can see it. It's nice as heck, boy. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, take it out of the box and put it on. See how it looks in your wrist. <laughs> I see. Whoop. Mm -hmm. so. Dang, it looks really nice especially the date you can see the date yeah. interesting another another interesting thing that i found out about this is mm -hmm. that uh the clasp if you so it's got a very secure clasp so that you don't it doesn't come yes, off correct so so it's got a little latch there you know, yeah. the other way around the other way around so mm -hmm. go ahead and click on here so so let me see you can see the camera it's got that and mm -hmm. then you open it up ah. so the clasp in itself it's got an extension here, so so um, you you got a couple more extensions in there, and basically what it is, it's designed so that you know you can adjust it to your size, right? To Obviously, your size, in case one it was thing. small. But interesting fact is that this extra um, links in there, uh -huh. they're basically designed so that whenever you have you have you're wearing a wetsuit because mm -hmm. it's a diver's watch, yeah, right? Yeah, diver's watch. A diver's sure. watch. You can wear it on top of the uh, wetsuit and mm. you can extend it. You can extend that. And, and, oh, that's dope. So, or if your arm just gets fatter, <laughs> well, you can just yeah, extend it a little more, right? <laughs> through that. Hey, Blue. Uh, let's put Sit it blue. on. Sit, baby. Okay, now it fits nice. Well, there you have it. 
Yeah, Dang, look at that, boys. Right. Uh, it feels nice. It feels good. Honestly, looking at the time, it's like it's all buttery smooth. Dang, you can tell the gears in there are so, definitely working. Yeah. Another another interesting fact is that uh, um, the glass itself is actually a sapphire. Yeah. And and it's supposed to be resistant to scratches, right? <sighs> Same thing with the metal, the stainless steel metal. It's, yeah. It's, it's uh, patented by the uh, Rolex company, and they use this type of steel that it's really resistant to scratches. So pretty pretty interesting right well there you go at least you won't have a problem with scratches <laughs> well it, it, you know you'd be surprised still scratches are expected oh, yeah um, <laughs> wear and tear and um, another another you know uh, thing that I really found interesting when it comes down to Rolex is, is that um, they, they advise you to have it serviced Mm -hmm. um, every few years it said so, somewhere about seven years all right so seven years um, you know, there it's quite a bit of money to get a service, but I think it's it'll last you basically another eight years, right? Yeah, and, pretty much, or even longer. And, right. <laughs> and talking to the um, to Bob's watches, uh, mm -hmm. they talked about um, every every watch that they put in their stock inventory mm -hmm. goes through the actual servicing, and so oh, they're actual. Is, yeah, so it's it's pretty. It's it's good to know that um, at least you know. Um, hopefully, it, it won't need and require any service you know in a while mm -hmm. and they also have one year warranty which is you know which is really good <laughs> right good. So, again this is the rolex the mariner um quite quite a, a little piece quite a nice looking uh, piece honestly sure i think it's um uh, i was um i've been waiting for this for quite a bit i was looking at uh waiting for another year to get it um mm -hmm. Um, so I wanted to do it as an accomplishment uh, piece for graduating from school, yep. um, working on my master's. So I figured, hey, you know what? <laughs> a little graduation thing. Sure, <laughs> right, a little <laughs> gift to myself. But right. I think it's um, I couldn't wait any anymore. So <laughs> I think it's a uh, it's um, treat yourself kind of thing. Sure. <laughs> and, I, and I think it's a good deal. You know, it's a, it's, it's probably something that I'm going to be able to pass along to 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 you, to you to guys me. right so <laughs> and maybe one day you will pass this along to your uh to your kids right and then and then you know it's it'll be something that'll stay within the family right so right so that's that's so. uh basically my my hope right so i think it was a good investment and hey you know it's a it's a rolex mm -hmm. it's a rolex dude yeah. never thought i would hold one in my hands <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's crazy so needless to say that I think I, I made the a great choice with the Submariner. Yeah. Um, like I said, um, I really had, um, I was really interested in the uh, date just for quite a bit. And mm -hmm. and I, I think uh, ultimately the uh, Submariner, I think it looks sportier. So um, it's, it's one of the things that I noticed that I think you could probably wear this uh, you know, with the uh, jeans and a t-shirt and a hat, <laughs> yeah. And you could also wear it with a tuxedo or, mm -hmm. or uh, you know, or a button up shirt, or something like it, that. It just kind of really adjusts to to your to, you your, know, style. to your style, whatever style it, it is. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any style, that's fine too. <laughs> right, so <laughs> yeah, like me. Um, so I think that's um, that's the the other plus, and and also another thing that I noticed is that uh, I think the 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 Rolex, the uh, date just with the fluted bezel and and the Jubilee um, wristband. I think mm -hmm. it's, it, it makes it a little bit, um, for me, in my opinion, it makes it a little bit fancier. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's more identifiable right away that it's a Rolex. Yeah. So if you if you happen to be walking in the street, it's like, oh, mm. that's a Rolex, right? That's a Rolex, and, dude. And, and this is it's a little bit more of it's kind of hidden, it's subtle. It's, mm -hmm. it's subtle. And, and, and it's it's kind of like that. I, I, I wore it all day today. Mm -hmm. And I really didn't get any attention, mm -hmm. uh, which which is really 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 good, right? So, mm -hmm. anyways, that's uh, the Rolex. Yeah, and then like you said earlier too, you can have it at work, you can have it at other places, maybe a bar, and then people won't act, people won't be actively looking at it because they probably won't know it's a Rolex until they get too close, or if uh, or if they're oblivious to Rolexes or watches, they won't really know. But the people who do know, yeah. they'll be like, hey, nice watch, exactly, looking pretty good. <laughs> And then how's it how's it feel when you're doing some work when oh, you're uh, when you're writing or using a computer? Uh, I think I think it's really it, at least for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I've I've always been used to wearing big watches, mm -hmm. and so um, in my opinion, uh, it just feels great. Not not <laughs> I don't I don't see any um, 
it does not impact me at all mm -hmm. you know uh, typing or or writing or or doing anything right mm -hmm. so right. I think that's the uh, that's uh, I think the only concern I have is you know I just don't want to get it scratched right <laughs> so I think um, yeah, as soon as I get it, the first scratch on it I think it'll it'll at least we can move on right and say hey mm -hmm. it's already scratched and it's already been scratched like, it's like Let's when you have going. a car and, sure. and you don't want to get scratched and then as soon as you get your first scratch it's like okay done deal it's all, all it's, right it's all then good, i can right? get more now <laughs> yeah, stop worrying yes sir uh yes. if you could though would you would you ever buy a bigger one or would you ever change this one for a bigger watch i know you like bigger looking watches on your wrist yeah i hope i don't it doesn't turn into like a an addiction you know, <laughs> an I, obsession i'm one of, one of those um persons that uh, tends to collect things mm -hmm. and and I just hope I, it doesn't turn into one of those things because I don't think your mom's going to be very happy with it yeah if, if I decide to later on say hey you know what I really wanted a date just <laughs> and then I keep on bugging her I think that's not going to be a, yeah I don't think it's going to end up well for anyone here no, I don't think so <laughs> yeah. so yeah that's pretty dope though <laughs> yeah. all right any well, any last words you want to add no, I think that's uh you know hopefully hopefully people that are looking in, into it uh hopefully that'll help a little bit um I know I'm I, I'm I'm really excited. I'm really stoked about it, and I just want to make sure that hey, you know, if, if I can do anything, and if if you want to leave your comments or you want to leave uh, questions in there, uh, would be happy to answer them as well. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, if you got any questions about the Rolex or anything like that, hit us up underneath. Uh, we might do another video. Who knows? Um, this is kind of more of a first impression. You know, we we recently just got it, so. He's gonna he's gonna go take it out in town later probably, yes, sir. <laughs> and then where he's gonna he's gonna see the looks he gets or how it feels like, and then we'll probably talk more in depth about it. So who knows? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey. Well, thanks thanks for joining. Thanks a lot, dorks. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, dude. So stay tuned. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to tip your waitresses. See ya.